All right, so before we hop into this video, I want to go ahead and uh, do a huge, huge shout out to a company called Mina Gallery. They're based in California and they specialize with Range Rover parts, Jaguar parts, and some other Euro, other European cars. So if you guys want accessories or performance, please check out the link down in the description below. These guys are awesome. The team over there is really helpful. So if you have any questions while you're either purchasing or about to install, the information that they can provide you is priceless so here we go uh just for starters if you guys haven't followed this car or this channel at all last year we actually installed their uh open air intake cones and uh we're going to complete this intake system at a later time it's coming soon so we'll stand by on that but in the interim we're going to remove this to start because the crank pulley is right down there and it's very easy to get to once we remove all this stuff out of the way so Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some lights and we're gonna show you along the way. All right, so uh, we opened up everything. Here is our crank. And then, of course, it looks like they gave um, an updated uh, and uh, a new belt. So we got all of these accessories here for this upgrade. So let's go ahead and uh, check all this out right now. All right, so we got some lights. We're going to pull up this plastic cover here. And uh, there we go, the engine is fully exposed here. So here is our supercharger up top and uh, crank down over here. So before we get into all of this, let's uh, go ahead and remove this top uh, inlet system, which looks like uh, we have a couple, couple clamps here, a little bolt, 10 millimeter bolt there. And yeah, let's go, let's do it. Another one right here for the top part. So one, two, three with that. So three clamps, should remove that out of the way. So if all of you guys are uh, skeptics of uh, the description of the title, it says Jaguar Land Rover, just so you guys know the crossover. So, uh, all right, so this inlet tubing here took literally three minutes to remove, and now we have access to our crank there. So before we go ahead and release the belt, we're going to release the torque on those uh, six bolts holding that crank in place. So let's get to that, and then... Uh, We'll take the belt off. Looks like the belt tensioner is living right here where my left hand is for the out one, outer one. And then there's a second one for the inner belt. So obviously, just uh, so you guys know, the uh, T50 is the size of the uh, bolts to remove those bolts there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on a little bit of a leverage on a uh, torque bar and uh, pop those out. All right, I think I turned the camera off, but I have a 24 millimeter socket for the center bolt. So if you have the engine is slightly turning counterclockwise, which you don't want, um, put this on there and then untorque it a little bit. So we got the uh, first one coming off out of six. And uh, once you get it just a little bit untorqued, it's pretty straightforward to pull this off. So. Let me just do this and I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> and there you go. Number one is off. Let's keep it moving. Just like that. A little movement there as you guys saw. And then, uh, Go ahead with uh, the regular socket. Oh, 
There's number two, guys. Let's put you on a little time lapse. We'll knock out the other four. So uh, make sure you uh, remove your bottom pan so if you drop something like I did, you don't waste time having to go and undo everything. All right, guys, so uh, last bolt is out, so we're going to go ahead and get this on the tensioner and move it. So let's see. The left side is where we're at. There's the old crank. All right guys, so here's where I'm gonna go and take a little bit of a break on the car, cause uh, I'm gonna prep for the new crank to go in. You guys can see uh, the two side by side here, the old crank right here, and the uh, old crank and the new crank next to each other. You guys can see that the old crank is a bit larger, which is what, we, which is what we're shooting for here, to increase the performance of the supercharger, which is right here. So that is awesome. So far everything so everything came off really nice. We have the um, tensioner um, still on there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the new pulley on with the new excuse me, we're gonna get the new yeah, get the new crank pulley on with some with some screws and um, put the new belt on and then torque it down, which is 75 foot pounds of torque. So before we do that, I have a uh, new Loctite blue, so medium strength. And we're gonna just clean up the old bolts here. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Just take a wire brush, clean them up, and then uh, get them prepped with this, and we'll be off and running. All right, guys. So before we actually go ahead and uh, put the crank on, we're gonna go ahead and replace the pulley here um, that they gave us. It's a smooth pulley, so uh, should be pretty straightforward. There's a cap, and then on bolts. So I'll keep you guys posted here. All right, guys, so st quick shout out to Chris over at Mina Gallery. He's been super patient. It is Saturday, and he is helping me live as we go. So um, here's an update for you. Before I go ahead and do the crank, I went ahead and removed the pulley that is right here because we are replacing it with this guy right here, which is sweet. Um, it's about the same diameter. So anyways, remove that, and then I had to go ahead and remove this tensioner and pull this belt off so it released some of the tension from the crank so it doesn't have pressure pointing that down or out of source uh, when we're installing a new one. So you guys can see how that was just kind of moving around. So the reason why we removed the tension was so that this is nice and uh, free from tension. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead now, we're gonna do the crank and we're gonna tighten down the bolts as much as we can. And then uh, based on that, we'll go ahead and put this belt back on and then install the new pulley and the belt simultaneously so because the t based on what i'm being told from chris thankfully um the space in between this pulley and that crank pulley is uh pretty much the width of the belt so it's really tight in there and obviously not so easy to do so we're gonna go ahead and um do it at the same time the pulley and the belt so let's rock it out and i'll put a diagram on the channel on the screen right here when we're doing the belt for the supercharger so you guys can see how that's routed if you're doing this yourself. So let's rock it out. All right guys, I'm gonna try to install the pulley and then I'll go ahead and install the, the rest of the belt here.
Torque spec on the pulley, guys, is 40, so let's knock that out real quick. All right, boys, pulley's on there. You guys just heard it torque down, so I'm going to go ahead now and uh, get this belt up over the uh, supercharger by releasing the tensioner. Let's see how she plays out. Just for the record, I did tensioner, pulley, crank, supercharger, and then this, I pushed it, like you guys just saw me, and pushed this over this last pulley here, and uh, we are on there really, really tight. And everything looks, uh, everything looks good here. The, the crank is nice and, uh, it looks like I gotta line up the bottom there a little bit better, so let me get to that, and then we'll tighten down the rest of those bolts there to spec. Okay. See if we get this uh, to uh, torque here. It should be good. I never saw the engine in your car. <clears throat> Did you add this too? Hmm? Huh? Did you add this too? Not last year. Hmm. That's what made the noise. Mm. Why is it bent here? Everything is nice and torqued down, secured. I'm gonna go ahead and put this inlet back together real quick and then we'll fire her up. Should be good to go. Let's rock it out. All right, boys, we're all cleaned up. Everything's back together, minus the uh, cover which we'll put on after we do a final inspection oh I just remembered I got to put these hoses back together here hold on all right boys so uh, here we go cross our fingers oh we need the key in the car all right take two sounds good no engine light Look smooth. All right. Let this thing warm up a minute. Gonna put the cover back on. We'll take it for a ride. Oh man, this is awesome. All right, we just went around the block, guys. So here we go. Uh, just got some heat in the motor. Before I really rip on it, we're gonna let it warm up more. <clears throat> but uh, initial thoughts just off of a slight acceleration is uh, torque. Definitely more torque. Oh yeah, huge difference. It's just, it's smoother too. Um, and I think we'll get more smooth as we go ahead and continue to do the intake system and then eventually we'll do a tune to finish it off. But one thing at a time, Again, thanks to Chris at Mina Gallery. I'll link all that in the description below. These, these guys really hooked it up here with directions and hands-on instruction. Yeah, definitely a lot more torque. <laughs> Freaking sick. So with the intake in this, we're probably somewhere around 400 horsepower, I would presume, um, based off of what uh, Mina Gallery is listing as increased percentage and uh, horsepower between the two. And uh, I think once we finish off the intake system and a tune, we can probably be between 450 and 500. That's, that's the ultimate goal here. So, wow, what a car. Yep, you guys can see my head tilting back. I am not exaggerating by any means. So uh, 
uh, we got sport mode and diamond not and in dynamic so we'll give it the beans right here because about to get on road I can do that with this thing is so torquey holy smokes way more torquey than what it was obviously crazy oh there's a red light up there like to 60 in two seconds nuts absolutely wild all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i am enjoying it if you guys want to know more about this you guys can drop a limit link or you guys can drop a comment below you guys can shoot me an email and uh, also check out minagallery.com. I'll link all of their website below so you guys can check out all the accessories and performance parts for your car. If you have a Jaguar, Range Rover, any of the cars that they offer on there, they seem to have quite a few different manufacturers. So check them out. Good Speed Shop in California. Again, thank, thank you, Chris, for the just support and help. This thing freaking rocks now. The car is, just as you mentioned, Chris, on the phone to me, it's smoother, it's torqueier, and I think more more improvements to come on that so thank you guys for watching and staying tuned um this is the daily so we're gonna try to make it uh as fast and reliable as possible given the fact that it's got the uh, the best platform a car could possibly have with this engine so thanks for watching stay tuned for more i'll see you guys next time